Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 video. Today we're going to be doing our daily op. Ooh, where are we going here? Daily op. I didn't check to see what it is. We're going into it blind. But we should have some fun. Okay, we are doing uplink. I've lost contact with Easy peasy. In this area. I'm trusting you to get that resolved. Regenerating uh, super mutants. Yeah. We need it repaired to communicate with this will be a simple one. We should be able to get it done in seven minutes and ten seconds. Let's see. I'm feeling a, a good seven ten. I'm not going to use any drugs or alcohol because it should be a bit of a no-brainer. But we'll see. For something like this where there isn't really a threat from the super mutants, I honestly uh, try to kill as few as possible. Once you get ranged ones, you can basically just dodge them and it saves you uh, effort. I mean, if you want to kill them, knock yourself out. Punching. Punching. So it's important that I stay on the point here. Um, uplinks work by basically activating this uplink and then we have to stay in the area. See the boost speed X1 in the upper right hand corner? That is how fast we are capturing this point. If there was more than one person here, we'd be getting that faster. But uh, I'm in a team by myself. So if I run off the point to kill those enemies uh, that are sort of shooting me, uh, it'll take longer to complete. I use these as sort of a time trial. I want to try to complete these as fast as I can, which means making sure I spend absolutely the entire amount of time on the boost and uh, spending as little time as possible going from point to point. Ooh, somebody's joined my team. This might be an advantage here. If they join, they can help me get these points faster. But honestly, most people don't know what they're doing with this and they spend a lot of time off the point and it just adds more enemies. Because these uplinks or these um, daily ops will spawn more enemies depending on how many people are in them. So you can use line of sight. So, for instance, this guy over here. If I stay out of line of sight, he's gonna come around the corner or closer to, to be able to attack me. So then same thing over here, if I want that group to come down, I can, they can see me. This type of daily up, uh, everybody has a, um, a thing that allows them to see through stealth. Oh, we're getting close. It allows them to see through stealth, so you're not hiding for hiding sake, but when you stay out of line of sight and they can't see you, they don't have direct line of sight to shoot at you, they're gonna, uh, the NPCs are gonna move closer. So you're going to draw them out into the open. And then you can kill them on the, the boost point. There you go. Uplink 2. So we get a bonus for completing this under 8 minutes. I don't need any of the ammo that comes from this. In daily ops, uh, you'll get ammo that drops depending on um, what type of weapon you're using. If you're using melee, you just get random ammo. Um, and most of it's junk. Uh, so I don't spend a ton of time looting these.
So again, you could go through this entire thing on only killing the end boss and it doesn't really matter. So you don't really need to kill any of these NPCs. For the other one, um, uh, decryption, you need to kill enemies to to uh, find a code carrier. So I'll try to loot as I go, as I'm uh, as I'm killing them. If you're ranged, you're gonna be killing them at further distances, so you can't necessarily do that. But you just have to sort of fill the time with what you got. I hear a bobblehead around here. I think it's over here somewhere, or it's up there. I'll... I won't. I won't go back to the bobblehead, unfortunately. Uh, maybe a little. I might go after we kill these. I might go. Back in the ball play. I, th I think it's okay. With my vampire's fist, there's a perk called uh, Ricochet, and a lot of those bullets are bouncing back and hitting the enemy and, and causing me to proc uh, vampires. So right now we move to a point and then it will spawn uh, or tell us to kill of some remaining enemies. That doesn't mean all enemies, it's only the ones that it highlights. So you don't have to kill them all. This is this part gets frustrating because if there's one or two people in the daily op who aren't contributing, you have to kill like eight or twelve different enemies. Okay, so I'm am gonna pop drugs for this, but not alcohol. And then we're gonna uh, this guy here. Oh, what did I say? S seven ten. Seven even. Nice. I've been working on trying to increase my damage output, so that um, end boss doesn't become a bit of a slugfest. So. Um, with hack and slash, maintaining a higher amount of AP, staying locked on the target, and uh, actually trying to get my uh, VAT hits in. Every time there's a 50% chance to cause an explosion with hack and slash, and that does double damage to the target you did it against. So, uh, getting as many of those hits off as possible is giving me uh, an advantage of damage. Anyways, yep, I got the bobblehead, so let's view the port. Seven minutes even. Ding, 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 ding. Hey, Brotherhood Special Ops mask. Awesome. Um, yeah, if you do pick up magazines or bobbleheads in these, it will show up in your total rewards for some reason. Don't know why. Um, we got junk... Uh, as far as legendaries go, but we got a brother Brotherhood's uh, special ops mask. Let's go check that out. New. There you go. I've, I have a few of these. I typically put these up for about 250 caps on my store. But, yep, that's the reward. Anyways, you only get one uh, special reward for completing it in time once a day. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. If you have any comments or suggestions, please post it below, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one.